Today we're going to learn how to expand binomial using Pascal triangle. Now if we have x plus y raised to the first power, we don't need to expand it because x plus y raised to the first power is just x plus y. Now if we have x plus y raised to the second power, we need to multiply x plus y by itself twice. So we'll have x plus y times x plus y. And using the FOIL method, we'll have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And so if we have x plus y raised to 3 and we multiply x plus y by itself three times, we'll have x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus um, y cubed. Now, what if we need to expand a binomial, let's say, for 213? Or let's just make it smaller. Let's say we want to expand it at 21st power. We're not going to multiply x plus y by itself 21 times. Today, we're going to learn um, one technique on how to expand x plus y without the FOIL method. So we're going to use the Pascal triangle in expanding our binomial. And in a Pascal triangle, it's like a pyramid. And the pyramid that you're seeing right now will be the coefficients that we are going to multiply to our expansions later on. So this is a very important numerical value on our expansions in our binomial theorem in our next slide. Now, if we have a plus b raised to 0, we know that any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So that's why we have the topmost level here at 1. And if we have a plus b raised to the first power, the second level will be 1 and 1. And those are the coefficients of your um, three terms for your binomial expansion. So you have 1a and 1b. Okay, that's why we have two ones right here. And now if we have a plus b raised to the second power, in Pascal triangle we have 1, 2, 1. Now how do we get all these numbers in the middle? It's pretty simple. So the numerical value in the middle is basically the sum of your wall right here. So if you have 1 and 1, add them together and you'll have 2. So that's why you have 1, 2 and 1 in your third le level of your Pascal triangle. On the first fourth level of your Pascal triangle, you have 1, 3, 3, and 1, because 1 plus 2 is 3, and 2 plus 1 is 3. And now we have 1, 3, 3, and 1. So these numbers right here will be the numerical value that we will multiply to our coefficients later on. And if we have a plus b raised to the fifth power, we have 1, and then 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, and 4 plus 1 is 5 and then the number one at the end. So this is how we expand our Pascal triangle, which patterns we will use in our expansion in the binomial theorem. So this is our first example on how we expand our binomial using the Pascal tri triangle. Let's say I have x plus 2 raised to the fourth power, and if I'm going to expand it without the Pascal triangle, that means I'm going to multiply x plus 2 by itself four, th four times. Now, to use the Pascal triangle, we're going to use the series of steps so we don't need to FOIL x plus 2 by itself four times times. So to do that, this will be your a and this will be your b. So you have two terms in your binomial and you, all you have to do is to change it into a factor of x and 2. And if your highest exponent is 4, you'll have five sets of x's and 2's in your expansion. So this is the first step in expanding your binomial using Pascal triangle. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, five sets because the highest exponent in your expansion is at four. Now, after you laid out your sets, the next step is to put the exponent in its appropriate coefficient so or in its appropriate factor. So on the first factor of x, since this is four or our exponent is the highest exponent of four, we'll simply do four, raise the second term to three, the second to 2, 1, and 0. So it's in descending order from the highest exponent up until 0 for your first ordered pair. Now for the second ordered pair of 2, which is your factor, all you need to do is to raise it from the lowest exponent, which is 0, and then going up. So now it's in ascending order. So 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 3, and 4. And this is our step number 3. So for the first factor, 
your exponent will be in descending order and for your second factor your exponent will be in ascending order now for step number four you need to simplify your exponent so x raised to four is x to the fourth x 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1, so you'll only have x to the 4th on your first term. And on your second term, term, you have x cubed, and then 2 raised to 1 is 2, so that's why I have 2x cubed. For the third term, I have 4x squared, 8x, and 16. So the step number 4 is basically simplifying your exponent so that you can multiply each of these terms by our Pascal triangle and that will be our step number five. Now in our Pascal triangle for level five or for exponent raised to four, the numbers or numerical values associated with this particular level is at one, four, six, four, one. So these numbers are what we're going to multiply to our coefficient for each term to finalize our expansion. So for our last step, we'll simply multiply the Pascal triangle to our existing terms and we'll have 1 times x to the 4th which gives you x to the 4th, 4 times 2 which is 8x cubed, 6 times 4 which is 24x squared, 4 times 8 which is 32x and 16. So this is how we expand x plus 4 raised to the 4th power without multiplying it by itself and by using the Pascal triangle. Now for our second example, now I have 2x minus 3 raised to cubed. Notice that now my term is subtraction instead of addition and the difference between addition and subtraction is the sign of your expansion. So now we're going to use minus, plus, and minus in our expansion instead of all minuses we're going to have one minus plus and minus to each term of our expanded value so now that we have a level three expansion so that means we're going to repeat our factors one two three four times so that will be our first step and then for the second step and for the third step i'm going to incorporate the exponent associated for my first factor and my second factor so for my first factor i have an ascending exponent, so I have 3, 2, 1, and 0. And for my second factor, I'll have an ascending order of exponents, so I have 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now for the next step, I'm going to combine step 4 and 5, wherein I'm going to simplify all my exponent and incorporate the Pascal triangle coefficient in my expansion. So I have 2x cubed, which gives me 8x cubed, 3 raised to 0 is 1, so I only have 8x cubed. Now I have 2x squared, which is 4x squared, times 3, 2x times 9, and then 27. And for my Pascal triangle for level 3 expansion, I have 1, 3, 3, and 1. So my final answer for expanding 2x minus 3 raised to 3, I'll have 8x cubed minus 36x squared plus 54x minus 27. Now, take note that when you raise 2x to 3, it's not the same as 2x cubed. If the parentheses is inside, or 2x is inside the parentheses, and you're raising it to 3, you need to distribute your 3 to 2 and x. That's why 2x raised to 3 is equal to 2 cubed x cubed, which is 8x cubed. So take note of this because this is a common error in expanding exponent and parentheses.